Hi everyone, I am in my hometown, Olumoro Rock, Abelkota. So I am doing this video in the rock. So welcome to Matias Direct. So today we are touring. Okay, so we are on our way to Olumoro Rock. However, before we get to Olumoro Rock, this is my neighborhood my childhood where i grew up so this entrance is the entrance into the neighbor the com uh, compound in front of my house there's a street that leads to the rock Uluma rock itself so yeah, I'm always, I'm very conversant with the rock, with the tourist center. Back in the days, we have visitors come in, you know, and we go in and out, just like our play playground when we're little. So yeah, so me and my family, my kids, and then me and my family, we are here just to see it again. This is my second time coming to Ogun State, um, but this that the last time I did not stop by but now I want to stop by and take a tour so yeah um, after paying the ticket you know asking the price we have to pay the parking and all that so once we're done paying we're heading in to the site itself so let's go and see what the location looks like what the site looks like it's very impressive very interesting a lot of historical um, factors they are actual fact I wish I could uh, narrate I wish I could put the voice of the narrator who told us uh, the history who narrate the history who take us through who walk us through the rock itself but it's too noisy so I'm not gonna do that so yeah we're walking in and then right before we get in yes this is the view of the this is modernized in the past it wasn't like this you know all of these little kiosks this little um building which one of them is the tenter so this guy you're seeing here is a very talented guy he took all of these pictures and including he did a video for me he's deaf that's my dad yeah he's called good father his nickname is good father so yeah that guy did a great job he captured all the videos and the uh, pictures the ones you see so this is a water fountain they say fountain of youth or something they call it fountain of yeah they said i mean it's water from the rock and you know everything they say you see here uh from the red from this the saucer from here so yeah and then there's a we there's a museum which i'm going to show at the end of the video so now we are heading on to the rock you can see all of this rock has been the ancient nothing is added nothing rolled out the only thing that was added is this stairs that was mounted i mean that was constructed i mean for tourist purpose you know but in back in the days we used to climb it the way we climb it is you're gonna see how i climb it so that's how we used to climb it and mind you if you need to lose weight this is one place you need to come and walk every morning it is so long and look at the view behind me that view is to die for right and this is just a little bit once you get up 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 top of the mountain you're gonna see what i'm talking about you're gonna fall in love with this city this city is my city and i have loved the city since i was like since i was young and i grew up touring this till i move out so yeah we're still climbing and you're gonna see where i actually um stand in the in between the rock yeah so the, there's one lady the lady behind me is um she's one of the historian 
and this is also she's an historian so they're telling us about the tree behind us which is um i forgot the name so that tree is, is said to um cure malaria it did, uh, did um, dango ya, don't go yarrow tree it said to cure malaria and i was joking that oh if it could cure malaria it could call, cure covid so yeah just jokingly because i mean yeah so she's telling us history like i said she's an historian yeah, she's telling us a bit about every location we stop she's telling us i wish i could um put a voice on this but the noise is noisy so we are still climbing on this and there's an elevator but it's broken and so yeah one of those things <laughs> but yeah we are still climbing so like i said if you want to lose weight with this be my guess now we are heading to the rock itself in between where i said i was climbing in between the rock yeah so i see i am brave i know i'm brave <laughs> my kids their dad said he's not going like probably he's afraid of height but i am a dead heaven i know i just i just want to climb i just want to explore you know it's been a while and you know you come here once in a while and then you just want to explore everything so yeah i am climbing i am climbing all the way in and i have another person who is not afraid of height so that's the guy that I was talking about, the guy who's very talented, he's deaf, like I said, he's, so those who have any disability and counting on it and not even showing their talent, learn from this guy. people settled under that rock for protection uh, when there was war when they were trying to settle so there's a whole lot of history behind this um place so yeah there's a whole lot of history behind it in fact i know that there are so many people who i mean there are people who worship the rock itself you're gonna see that too So right now we are heading towards um, where we're gonna meet the women who still live here. So um, yeah, and then yeah, they just they stay there. They pray. People meet them and they, they pray, and then you give them something. And yeah. So and there's one thing that we we'll, you're gonna see right now is um, we call it in Yoruba ikoko. It's a mud, mud out of mud like a port. Yeah, so it, that is the refrigerator back in the days. And the water is always cooler. I remember my grandmother, something like that. She's talking about the something in there that kills chicken pox um all those little illness that, that once they rub it on the kids it's made of palm oil and then this woman is Iyaulumo Egba she's 135 two years ago and now she's 137 years old she's still very active she's not around she's uh she, we were told she went somewhere so you can tell that these women are really strong women so these are all women that um they all people visit them they pray they you know i mean they are they know history and they are part of history too so yeah so this is the lady i'm talking about that she's an historian also just like the other one and she's also a twin like me yeah so women praying in yoruba language i I 
The next place which we are still climbing and that's me with my sneakers in the case because I knew I was coming to climb so I am prepared so I wore sneakers on a gown on a dress which you know is fashion so we're going on top top of the mountain so when you're on top of the mountain you don't see the bottom you don't you never see the bottom so that is how um, those who were fighting the war get away with it so people don't know that there are people hiding on living or hiding on the rock so yeah there we go again According to history, the tree that I'm about to show you is 300 years old. And this tree, there's no way you wrap your hands around that you're gonna, your hands are gonna meet. So that is what she's telling us. She's telling us the history behind the tree. Right here, she's telling about this. You see this statue, and then there's two that are buried on the ground. Those are the ones that um, did not survive. Those uh, back in the days when they were, um, yeah. So, but the ones that is that the ones that is up was a survivor, and the one that's there on the floor are the one that died during the, the years when they were fighting the war. Going on top of that mountain, I wish I had my drone or with me to fly it and you can see the top of the mountain because that's where we're going at, which is so beautiful, but um, I don't have my drone with me, that's sad. So we're on top of the mountain finally, so right here we can see a whole lot of historical places like the first mosque, the first church, the first school. The very, very uh, prominent people in my state went to that um, school. It's called Baptist Boys High School. That was the school Fela, Obasanjo, uh, MK Wabela, who I know so well, uh, went to. So right around that area is where some um, those ancient like old buildings are. So do, from the top of the mountain, you can see the exactly the whole view of the city, which is so nice, so beautiful. I'm sure if you climb on top of that mountain with a such light at night, it's, it's going to be more spectacular and beautiful. So yeah, and right in the house over there, in the like um, um, that corner by the left.
however my house is also close to <laughs> my house is just like opposite i can see my house from on top of the rock and look at this tree it's from down 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 up on top of that mountain and when i say people can see you on top and see this is the best view on top you see everything clear but people cannot see you from the bottom because you're on top so when you're on top nobody's gonna get to see you because you're on top so i i so much love this i'm happy i did this it was fun and then from this we go on to the next one which is galleria <laughs> So yeah, finally we are at the Galleria, that's it, that is it for my exploration, my sightseeing, um, touring my home state where I grew up, yeah, thanks for watching.